Rachel Burke, Lamar Hill, interviewing Daisy Taylor and Patricia Lux. Okay. Um, when were each of you born? When? August 5th, 1932. I was July 4th, 1926. Okay. See, she's not English. <laughs> Down and out American. How American can you, more American, American can you be? No, not down and Fourth out. of July. <laughs> I'm very much in. No, I said, I changed it. Okay. <laughs> um, what town did you grow up in? What town? Town. Town. Mm -hmm. I was born in Schenectady, Schenectady. New York. Ellis Hospital. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, when did you move to England? I was a baby. Yeah. A few months old, had about five different going across the ocean because my father, who was English, couldn't make up his mind where to live. Why did they go back and forth so much? That was what he wanted. Oh. <laughs> and eventually, <coughs> excuse me, when I was about five, five years old, and I've lived in England since then. Gee, I wasn't there yet. You <laughs> couldn't wait for me, could you? <clears throat> oh, so what town did you end up moving to? What town? What town um, did you end up moving to in England? Um, what town? No, that was in the, what they call the East End. Yeah. And it was Deptford. There you go. D-E-P-T-F-O-R-D. Isn't that where Trump was born? East London. And no, he was born in East Ham. East End. I remember Deptford, yeah. <coughs> yes. Deptford. I never liked the sound of that. <laughs> For some reason. <coughs> Excuse me. Is that where you grew up in? No, I was born in London. She was born. Greenwich. Oh. Now, Greenwich. Greenwich. <laughs> right? Greenwich. It could have been Greenwich. Oh, we were oh. living in Deptford when you were born. Yeah, that, was, that was the address on the birth certificate. 48 Vanborough Hill. <coughs> If you really want to know all the details. Mm -hmm. it was some kind of a home. Well, it was London anyway. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It was some kind of a home. Or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah, good old London. I miss London very much sometimes. So, what was it like growing up in England? Hmm. In well, I can remember when I <coughs> had arrived back from America, and I was going to say five or six, and I lived opposite a school, and I was going to go to that school. And the children used to come over and talk to me and say, you know, I was speaking very much American in those mm -hmm. days. And they'd say, say water. Mm -hmm. I'd say water. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> and they laughed and laughed and laughed. They thought that was so funny. <laughs> say it again. <laughs> say it again, please. Yeah. yeah, I went through that over here when yeah. I went to high school. Certain words they couldn't wait to hear. But it was um, <laughs> then after a while we moved from there to nearer to London, where our father got work there, and that was when he was <coughs> uh, what do they call it when they look after all the factories? Yeah, caretaker. Caretaker. He was yeah. a caretaker of all the factories all around us. <laughs> And our house just stood in the middle of all these houses. So we were right in the middle of London. And uh, well, that's where we were when the war began. Right in the middle of the war. That's where we were. Mm -hmm. Very pretty when they dropped all those bombs. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean uh, it was a, there were all kinds of factories there. Our home was in one corner. Mm -hmm. And the shelter, we call it a shelter, it was a factory, or not a factory, it was a tall building with nothing but wood in it, plywood. Now, there's a nice safe place to go during the air raid, isn't it? Mm. Where there's a lot of <coughs> wood slept Right down in the basement, yeah, there were about six down. levels in the yeah. factory. And down well. the way there were a couple more buildings, and then on the other end was a paint factory. Mm -hmm. And they were dropping incendiary <laughs> bombs, you know what they are. <laughs> And a paint factory doesn't need incendiary bombs. It they will burn explode. profusely without those things. But it was a pretty sight. I hate to say that, but it was... The colors were just unbelievable because of all the paint. 
and the bars. See, we, we, we used to like the interest in pretty we're, things. Yeah. <laughs> we weren't that scared. <laughs> we had to find things that amused us, I guess. It made us feel better. But it was, it was a beautiful sight. It really was. Felt, nobody was in there, thank goodness. You know, nobody was lost or anything. It Did you ever hear to of uh, the time called um, when the British were fighting the Germans? God, God. Mm -hmm. The Blitz? Was oh, well, it was all the Blitz. No, this was when... Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'll have to get back to that later. Mm -hmm. And there'd be all these Spitfires, which was the Ooh. English fighters then, a very small plane. That was my favorite. But that was before they had all these big ones and they used to drop the bombs and they could also go like this and go after the Germans. And um, we asked our dad if we could go out there and watch them. <laughs> of course, this was during the, when the air raid was on. We weren't supposed to do that. But we wanted to go and watch. I was 14 and she was only eight. And then we watched all these aeroplanes up there, the Spitfires and the, the German planes, what they call. I forget now. Oh God. Fighting. And then we saw something come down. Luckily they didn't land where we were. Oh, but they were falling to pieces. And then we'd see someone jump out of the plane in a parachute. But they didn't land where we were either. And my father said, you'd better get under the bridge because we were near a bridge as well because uh, nasty things can fall down. Well, we moved under the bridge, and what fell down just in front of us was, have you ever heard of shrapnel? Mm -hmm. Well, off came this great big piece of... Oh, don't say that. Mine was about that big. Well, it was that big. It was that big. And it was burning, and oh, and it fell just where we had been standing. So we nearly weren't here anymore. <laughs> I was so upset when Pop wouldn't let me bring that with me. <laughs> I, I had the biggest piece of all the kids. I was the winner. Oh, gosh, I had a beautiful piece. Mm. Jagged edges. Mm. That's what we did. We were kids, and mm. that's what we had. That was our life, was the war. So we acted you. accordingly, you know. Yeah. You're out there, and the, the ACAC guns are shooting at the airplanes. You're going to have shrapnel coming <laughs> down, so... Uh, task was to collect it. Sometimes there were little <laughs> we pieces and we used to collect them and keep yeah. them, but they didn't last long. <laughs> but he wouldn't let me bring it over here. <laughs> Never understand that. There were no metal detectors in those days. Mm. Who would have cared? No, I broke my heart. And there was I another time when kids. we were on a Sunday and our mother had cooked a lovely meal. Oh, yeah. Beautiful meal, all the usual things, roast beef, Yorkshire oh, pudding, yeah. roast potatoes, and Mm -hmm. She just put it all on the plate. She said, "Well, we've got to go down to the get there, mm -hmm. get to be safe underneath the factory there, and carry your dinner with you and go mm -hmm. careful." Well, I wasn't very careful. Well, well, always I. What do we do? Drop our dinners on well, the I was ground? We were looking at a dog fight. That was our fight, first yes. dog fight. That was the Battle of Britain, and it was just the Battle beginning. Of Britain. That's what I was oh, trying to think of. Oh, that what you were oh, trying to think of? Oh, it was the Battle of Britain. It was just beginning. September the fifteenth. Air fight. Our mother's birthday. September the fifteenth. That yeah. was the Battle of Britain. And I was so busy looking at those, I tipped my plate over, and oh dear, mm -hmm. I picked up everything but the gravy. <laughs> couldn't, couldn't pick. I didn't have anything to pick it up with, so I just picked up the food. And I ate it. It was too good not to. Well, that was good fun. <laughs> <laughs> and that was that bit. Uh, it's crazy watching those fighters fire at each other. Uh, crazy, crazy. <coughs> well, it was interesting. Yeah. yeah. It was scary. scary. Yeah, yeah, it was there were no scary. bombs. There was no air raid. It was just them. Oh, there were some bombs. So it was different. Yeah, yeah there, there were some. Yeah. I don't know if you ever heard of the other bombs they used to have after the the usual bombs, when uh, we never heard it at all, and it was, there was no one in it. Oh, I forget what they were called. Oh, do you mean the rocket? The big ones and the V2s? That's it. Mm. That's it. See, no. <laughs> I forget <laughs> these things. But you didn't hear them at all mm -hmm. until they were nearly where mm. we were. Mm. Then as it was coming down, because there was no one in it, 
Yeah. It was bomb. And when it stopped, <laughs> that meant it was falling. And then it would be, wow. <laughs> follow the one who dropped not very yeah. far from it. They always said you could follow it, but don't run in front of it. <laughs> <laughs> so there was another time when I was on holiday, and I was in what they call the Girls' Life Brigade. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I was on holiday with that oh, in that. Kent. Mm -hmm. and that's we equivalent went, to the Girl Scouts. Oh, that's right. We went out for a walk in the fields, my friends and I, and we saw this. We said, oh, look, look at that aeroplane. It's on fire. <laughs> and it kept going along and going along. We said, well, I don't know, it's not coming down. What's wrong with it? Then all of a sudden it stopped, the flame stopped, and it just dropped yeah. and exploded. No one was in it. I forget what they were called. Doodle bugs. Doodle bugs, that's it. The Yanks called them doodle bugs, doodle fuzz bugs. bombs. They were a flying And we bomb. thought it was an aeroplane on fire. Because <laughs> we'd never heard of the doodle bugs. Doodle bugs. <laughs> oh, they were loud. Yeah. Oh, they were loud. But when it stopped, oh. we know it was going to yeah. no, we know it was. We know it was coming down. Yeah. And they were all aimed. They were mm -hmm. controlled by the, the men back in Germany. Oh, they yes. knew they were going to land, and that, he was after the civilians. Mm -hmm. He lost the air war. Mm -hmm. Our wonderful young men beat them at the air war. So and then he was going after what he called a less vital target, which was us. Mm. Isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. He always told us what he thought of us, that's for sure. But, uh, and that's what they did. They were aimed at certain spots. They had mm -hmm. patrolled all that. They knew where they were sending them. And the, the one that came after that was the rocket. Oh, Werner yes. von Braun's rocket. Yes. It was the V1 and the V2. He went and charged. worked in Germany mm -hmm. and, uh, and here. And, uh, See, they were just shot off from Germany. And you Germany. never heard them. Of France, mm -hmm. it was, I think that it was in France when mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. they taken France over. Yeah, they were controlled, but you never knew when they were coming. You never saw no. them. There was no air raid siren for them. No. For the other bomb, yes, there was because they could mm -hmm. could see it and hear it, but you never had any warning for the rocket. Mm -hmm. There was just no sound. I remember I was in school mm -hmm. one day. We were in cooking class. Mm -hmm throwing the food on the ceiling like we did all the time. <laughs> <laughs> that was so much fun. I remember when I went back to say goodbye, um, we came over here, and I went in to see the teacher, and her last name was mm -hmm. Miss Wood, of oh, all yeah. things. And that was our maiden name, Wood. Mm -hmm. And uh, while I was talking to her and saying goodbye, and she was saying, you know, we were talking back and forth, and then she looked up at the ceiling. And she didn't say a word, she just looked up at the ceiling. And she looked down at me. And she looked back up and it was pink. It was blamange. Remember blamange? Yeah. You probably don't know what that is, but it's awful good. And then she looked back at me and she and then she said, Did you do that? And I said, Yep. And me and a friend, we were just I don't know, to see if it would stick. Well we didn't think it was gonna stick. But it did. So we were caught in that. <laughs> but she was funny. She was funny. But only Miss Wood. <laughs> Any other uh, questions? Yeah. During the Blitz, were you guy, were you in London? Doing what? In Greenwich? During the air raid? Oh, the Blitz, we were oh, in... Oh, yes, we were there for a long yeah. time. We left, I forget what year it was now, oh, when my father was saying that we've got to get out of this London. Yeah. Um, <coughs> I don't know. Yeah. I can't remember all of that. I don't know what year it was. Well, it started in 39. Mm -hmm. I think it finished in 44. Mm -hmm. Either 44 or 45. Either 44 or 45. Yeah. Yeah. I was, yeah. I was seven when it started in 14. It was thanks to Winston Churchill. Did you ever hear of Winston Churchill? He was the Prime Minister of the good time. Good old Winnie. Mm -hmm. He was very good. Very mm -hmm. good. Yeah. He saved that country. And then there was D Day. Did you hear about D Day? Mm hmm. And then they all went across the ocean, and uh, when things really got bad. And Len was in that, right? Yes, yes he yeah. was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My husband was in that. About the fires. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. A lot going on. Mm -hmm. Okay, so before the war had even started, um, what did you guys think about Hitler? 
I you can't, can't remember you. anything about him. I don't remember hearing about him, do you? Before no. The war? no. Do you remember the war? any of your, like, of your father's feelings towards him, or did he not really talk about it much? Uh, didn't talk no, I don't think him. so. I can remember there was one prime minister who did go over there to Germany, mm -hmm. and they had come to some <coughs> arrangement <coughs> not to have a war. Was it Chamberlain? Chamberlain? Mm -hmm. yeah. Might have been. Could have been. Yeah. <laughs> Might have been. And he's not even English. <laughs> <laughs> not the Gettysburg Chamberlain. My memory doesn't quite what it used to be. But then after a while, well, Hitler <coughs> was Hitler, you know, wicked old man. Yeah. Well, we always knew what he was doing. Mm -hmm. He never hid that. Mm -hmm. When it was going to happen, where. Mm -hmm. well, he, you know, he wanted England very badly. We must have been awfully good somewhere <laughs> along the way. I told no. Well, he wanted he to own wanted the world, England, didn't he? Oh, sure. Yeah. All he wanted him was so bad. He worked at it. He did a lot of damage. There were thousands of people killed in just a few nights. But when the war started, that. England was really, really in a bad way. Mm -hmm. And they never thought at the beginning that they would win. <laughs> When America mm -hmm. came into it, that made a great big difference. Mm -hmm. Sure it really did. did. Sure did. Yeah. Um, do you remember what you were doing when um, Britain declared war on Germany in the beginning? When what? Oh, when my. Britain declared war on Germany? No. No. I, I remember the day no. when they no. said that, and then we all started going into somewhere where we'd be safe. But nothing happened for quite some time. Yeah. It was so quiet, we thought, well, there's a war on, but nothing's mm. happening. Must be a war. There were no bombs, and uh, they missed their target. Then people started going back to normal, <coughs> and <coughs> missed that in the other, and all of a sudden it, it really started, and the Germans started coming over with their planes and uh, dropping bombs, and well, that's when they started with the air raid warnings. Did you ever hear yeah. them? <laughs> Sirens. <laughs> Awful noise. And then it got so bad uh, that they started sending this off about five o'clock every day, uh, telling people, well, they hadn't really heard anything yet, but go and get somewhere safe. And that's what we would do for We did that for a long time. We'd go down early in the evening and stay there all night. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. All night. But sometimes sadly, days on end sometimes. Yes. Sadly, not in one where we used to go, right down into the oh, it? they built it very strong for us to be safe in. And it used to hold 50 people. And we used to go there every night and stay there all night. Mm -hmm. And then things quietened down again. And uh, my father said, well, we'll stay home for a bit. But what happened the night that we weren't there, a bomb did drop on us. 50 people were killed. Mm -hmm. So we had some very lucky escapes. No mm -hmm. family really did not. Mm -hmm. I had one little, one little boyfriend who, well, only school friend, was killed as well. So it was very mm -hmm. sad. Yeah, that's the um, friend, I, when we were in cooking class, uh, we were standing, you know, the windows were right there, great big windows. And all of a sudden, we see this flash of light. Um, oh, was that lightning? No, it was too bright for lightning. And then we kept looking, and not long after that, there was still no sound, no noise, but it was a rocket that had exploded, hit a house, which is where it was supposed to go. And then we saw it, you know, it was just one big ball of red, yellow, and orange. Mm -hmm. And we knew right, we knew what was there because we could tell because it was the, our friend's home was right. It, it was a direct hit on her home as it turned out, and we knew she was right in that area. And sure enough, killed the whole family, all mm -hmm. five of them, including her brother who had come home on leave from the army. And all things. So and then a lot of that happened. happened. Oh, oh, sure. Everywhere. That was the only one I ever saw, though. <laughs> that was bad. Oh yeah, that was 
sent quite a few of those over. I don't know what we did so wrong that we have to get all that. Oh. Yeah, it was sad. She was only, what, 11? Yeah, we are 11 years old. Oh well, one of these days, maybe there won't be any more. Maybe. So, as a child during the war, do you think that the children were more optimistic than the adults were? They thought it, would not, it wouldn't be a big deal, that it would be over sooner? Well, it depends how old the children yeah. were. Yeah. The young yeah. ones wouldn't have understood it at all. Yeah. I think they probably thought differently. Well, I can remember yeah. being 12 and 13, 12, 13 and 14. And, of course, most of the children were evacuated anyway. Mm -hmm. That means taken to somewhere way and way and way away. In the country. Way in out. the country yeah. where there wouldn't be any trouble. Because the, our enemy didn't want to go to those places. It was London and all the people, places like that they wanted. So, so most of the children, and we, were, we were, went away once yeah. for a while in up north somewhere, Cambridgeshire. Yeah. Trying to think. Yeah. Cambridgeshire. Maine. Maine, that's Maine. it. And, uh, Maine, Maine, Maine. and we were there for Maine. nearly a year. And then our father Maine. said, well, I think decided to bring us home. Yeah. Maybe we weren't too happy. And a lot of the children never wanted to go away from home, no, but we... they wanted the children to be safe. I didn't want to leave our mother. Mm. I didn't want to leave her with her, <laughs> with our father. That's why I didn't want to go. I felt bad about that. They all had to wear the, what they called their masks. Mm -hmm. Gas we, we were all given gas masks oh, yeah. because they were always afraid that they were the gas would be dropped and that could kill you as well. So we had to put on these mar yeah. horrible things. Oh, they were pretty colorful. We all had to carry this block. They were like an the apple, children's an apple color. Yeah. yeah, the children's they were. awful pretty. <laughs> and they were in a box and we always had to carry this with yeah. us. Oh. And then we had a big <coughs> ticket on our coat, what our name was oh. and everything. <laughs> A lot of the children yeah. cried. They never wanted to leave yeah. home, leave their parents, but had to go. I remember the first time my mother, she took me to school. I was probably five. And I didn't want to go. I had never been. I really didn't want to go to school. I didn't want to go to school. Okay. So she walked me to school, and then she came home, and so did I, except she didn't know it. I just walked right back home to school, oh. and she was already here, I, already back at the house by then, mm -hmm. I think. <laughs> and she went back, and mm -hmm. she went, you know, she went, you know, and said, hey, she's, not, she's not in school, you know, she went to the you know, she, she's not in school. So that's when I must have just taken off, and uh, mm -hmm. I just didn't want to go to school, so I walked back home. And there I was, and she got back home. I don't know why I didn't want to go, because I really loved school after that. I always did. I really did enjoy school. Hmm. What's next? Uh, um, what did you do while you were sent away? What did the kids do to pass the time? What, when we were evacuated, you mean? Yeah. Well, we went to a school, That's wherever true. we were. We went to school as usual. And then we just go home to the people mm -hmm. who are looking after us. Mm -hmm. I think it depended on who you were staying with and what kind yeah. of family we they were. First of all, we were with a doctor and his yeah. wife. He was not. not that we saw much of him, yeah. because he had servants, so we were in yeah. the kitchen with the servants. Yeah. <laughs> it was no, nice, nice food. No, we were okay. Yeah. Missed home, of course. And our parents oh, yeah. used to come and visit us now and again when they could, and we used to cry when they had to go back. Sure. It was a pretty spot, though. It was a lovely. Yeah. England has a lovely countryside. Here we go. Be sure you go see the A lot of places where pretty. children very had pretty. to go were very nice places. Mm. And the parents, when they used to visit them, liked them so much, they moved down there as well. <laughs> well, the parents did that. What did your parents do when you were evacuated back at home? Well, they just carried on as usual, mm. working and doing whatever they had to do. 
life had to go on. You just couldn't shelter all the time. And we used to go out to the movies and go shopping and things like that. And I can remember when, uh, when I met my husband and we were just going out for walks when he would, because he was in the army. And we would go for walks in the evening and the air raid warning had gone, but we didn't care. We just wanted to go for a nice walk together. And the searchlights would be going all over the place. Yeah, and that was neat. <laughs> they were neat. And we used to like doing that. It never bothered us. So sometimes you just didn't think about it. You just carried on yeah. and did what you had to do or what you wanted to do. <laughs> and we weren't even scared. <laughs> Too much in love, I guess. <laughs> and that we just wanted to be together and go for nice walks. And we weren't worried about what was going to happen in the world. Our parents must have got very worried, but it didn't stop us anyway. But life went on much the same. And it had to. Um, so what was going on in the city when you were sent back from evacuation, when you got home? What was going on mm. in the city? Nothing unusual, mm. I don't think. Mm. You mean when the war came over? Well, when, well, when we came back. When you went home after evacuation. Oh. I'm trying to think who was there to meet us. I don't remember. <clears throat> Not a train, I know that. No, oh, I can't remember either. I can't remember who. It had to be one, either mm. both of them or maybe just one of them. Yes. Well, one of them must come to get us, but I can't yeah, remember. Somebody had to, because we didn't have a car. Mm. Very few people mm. had cars in those days. But then things really began to get bad again, so yeah. that's when my father decided to leave London and then we went out into the other side of London where it was a bit safer. Still a little bit of trouble there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That was Hyams Park. Hyams Park. Hyams Park, London, but outside of the city. So that wasn't as yeah. dangerous as London City was. Right, it was still part of the war, but it didn't have what London had, and that's what they were after was what London had. But they would, it wasn't just factories and the waterworks. They used to bomb the waterworks, so we ended up with no water sometimes. Mm -hmm. But uh, they would bomb churches, hospitals, mm -hmm. schools. They didn't care what they hit. They just, you know, which was not necessary. You know, not necessary. Mm -hmm. Bridges, courts, mm -hmm. trains. Yeah, boy. Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> mm. Um. So how far for how far from like the city of London were you when the night raids went on? Oh, not far. Let me see. Liverpool no, Street no, no, no. is about two miles away. Oh, no, no, no. no more than three or four miles oh, from, yeah. the, from the city itself. Yeah. yeah. So you could see a lot of what was going on. Yes, mm. my father. Came and got us up one day, one evening, one night. He said, "Do you want to come and look at a fire?" <laughs> sure. And I said, "No, Daddy, I don't want to look at a fire. Kind of come and see it in the morning." You know. And he said, "In the morning." <laughs> and there was a building not far away from us, which was the whole thing was the light was burning, mm -hmm. and he was afraid it might get to our house or something don't like that. And uh, we did go down and watch it, but. <laughs> We weren't really that interested. <laughs> well, I remember one night when we were in the the building, way down in the basement, mm -hmm. I asked him if I could go up on the roof with him. Oh. He was he was a, what they called wardens. Yeah. You know, they yeah. patrol the streets, mm -hmm. helping people if they needed help, you know, mm -hmm. or leading them to a shelter if they didn't mm -hmm. know where to go, or telling them to go to a shelter. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said no at first, and I kept bugging him. I wanted to go up and look. So he put a helmet on my head and. I don't know. Up we that. went, yeah, up we went. <laughs> I wouldn't oh wanted to go up there. It was up goodness, so high. I, I almost regretted it the minute I got mm. there because, mm. what was it, about six stories high? Mm. Maybe six stories Big high. Big building. And you could see, mm. I mean, if you turned in a circle, all you would see was fires. Mm. Nothing else. Yeah, fires Just all around. one mass of fire, screaming sirens, barking dogs, and screaming people, and... Mm. And it was unreal, and it looked like 
could see St. Paul's, could just barely see yes, the St. top Paul's of the cathedral. dome. It yeah. did get hit that night, but not really well, bad, no, I guess. Well, no, very little. Very yeah, little. but you could just see the top part of the dome, and it's a beautiful, beautiful building. And there it was, and there were all the others, and oh, it was... Oh, the fires It was a sight. The fires were on the sirens, and oh, gosh, it was... So I started to cry, so I came back down the stairs. Mm -hmm. I'm running down the stairs crying. I go, oh, my goodness. But I, I, was, I was glad I saw it. I really was. It was a beautiful town. I loved it, and uh, that's where I was born. But it was a sight to behold, that's for sure. We did see some sights, didn't we, huh? Oh, yes. Yes, we did. Mm -hmm. Too bad we didn't have a video camera then. Huh? <laughs> we didn't have video cameras in those days. <laughs> I don't think I'd want to watch it again. Oh, dear, not that time. Mm -hmm. Um, how often did you have to go to air raid shelters? For quite a while, every night. As I said, we would go down before it was dark, even before there was any air raid. And we would stay there all night. Yeah. Well, those braids could last for weeks and weeks and weeks. Then we'd all get up, go home. <coughs> those who had to go to work would go to work. Those who had to go to school would go to school, and life mm -hmm. just went on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, didn't mm -hmm. think about the war all the time. Mm -hmm. Got scared, yes, when the air raid warning would go. Mm -hmm. At school, we would all have to get there and get together in one place and. We didn't have shelters there that I can remember, no. not in school. Very few people had their own shelters. Some had them in their backyard, yes. Yes. but not... We had a neighbor party. next door, but one yeah. of us had one yeah. of these shelters. Yeah, you'd they walk down a step and then you'd turn... They weren't very big. The they would only hold about no, no. <laughs> four people. So our parents <laughs> told us to go down there, but they wouldn't go. There wasn't room for them. Yeah. <laughs> Were you there at the yeah. time we went down? And everybody is telling me, go on, go ahead, go on, get in. And I was, what, about 13? Get in, go on, you go ahead, you go ahead. And I said, okay. And I got stuck. No. My legs somehow just would not move. <coughs> and I couldn't get past that first step. Yeah, well, they were and very narrow. And I got narrow, stuck, they were very, very narrow, narrow. And then you dropped down into the, the room mm -hmm. itself, such as it was. Mm -hmm. And, and we just started laughing. Ground. And I couldn't stop laughing. No, I can't remember. And that made it worse. I couldn't move, and everybody started laughing. They're all out on the lawn, and there's a flying bomb coming over the house. Mm. Oh, that was that was crazy. Why mm. me? <laughs> mm. Did you talk much about the war um, in school? I can't remember oh, that. I don't remember. No, if we were in school, then we had to do what the teacher said. Oh, yeah. We had There's to do our lessons and all that. Mm. And after the evacuation had all taken part, that meant a lot of the classes were put together mm. so that all ages, and at one stage I even took my sister with me because she had been taken away from her school. So we had children of all ages in the one class. So it wasn't, the school was never like it used to be. No. No. The teacher would just, well, we'd do something to interest us and make things easy, I suppose, but yeah. it wasn't like school used to be. Because well, a lot of the others had already been evacuated, but many parents wouldn't let their children be evacuated. And for quite a while, we were there. So, I don't really remember what we used to do much. <laughs> bit of reading, I suppose, bit of arithmetic, mm -hmm. bit of history and all that kind of thing, just to keep us busy. As I say, we all tried to let life go on as well as we could. We couldn't do anything about it, after mm -hmm. all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, mornings when you would come out of the air raid shelters, did it ever look really different? No, I can't say that it did, not unless there had been any bombs unless near you. <laughs> we would have heard if anything had, but we never had anything right close to us. Well, we just got out and went on, went on home, and had a wash, and got dressed. And those who went to school went to school. Those who went to work had to go to work. You still had to carry on. Mm -hmm. 
um, once the U.S. became involved in the war, did your hopes change a lot? Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, yes. We knew Most that definitely. was the beginning of the end when we... Yes. Yeah, yeah. We needed that help. We really did, because oh, yeah. England's a very small country, as you know. Oh, yeah. Nothing like USA. And mm -hmm. all the Europeans want weren't all on our side. Mm -hmm. like the Russians weren't, to begin with. They were horrible. Yeah. And that was very frightening. So when the Americans did come, yes, that was, that made a big difference. Mm -hmm. What kind of changes did you, like, notice after the U.S. became involved? Uh, what do you mean by changes? Uh, all we knew was that the Americans were there helping and doing a lot. Well, it was it made a big difference. It yeah, probably made say. us feel a little more, yeah. more at ease. You know, it was still a war, but because if it hadn't been for them, different. I think Hitler might have won somehow. I yeah. don't know, but we just didn't have sufficient. You might have tried harder. What was needed. The Britons were very, English were very brave, did what they could. I don't know why America took so long to go in. Yeah. Maybe they didn't want to get involved with the war, but uh, no, they did not at first. No. Made a big difference. Yeah. But then there was that terrible thing that happened when a lot of Americans were killed in the water. Remember that? Pearl Harbor? Huh? Pearl Harbor? No, no, no. This was in England. Oh, yeah. Down in... I forget what happened. The U-boats. You've heard of the U-boats, yeah. haven't you? Yeah. Well, they were... The Americans would... Yeah. were trying to work out how they would do things. <laughs> so they were doing it all to see how things would go. How to do it, like they have to learn it all before they go, don't they? But as they got out into the sea, there were U-boats there, which they didn't know were there. A lot of them were killed. Mm -hmm. Sunk. Yeah, that was that was down in Devon. Devon, yeah. 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 Quite a lot were killed. Terrible. Somehow that doesn't go with Devon. <laughs> Something like that. They've got a very big uh, <laughs> thing there. That's, Beautiful um, Devon. From something they built there. That's what Daisy lives in Devon. Yes. Yeah. This is further south than where we were. Yeah. It just doesn't seem and to they've got something no there on the ground which is very big ah. and it's got all about the Americans there and what was done and how sad it was that so many of them were killed by the U boats. That's war, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, in the thing I wrote up a while ago, it was like there were 50 million people were killed during that war. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, my and it was fought on every continent. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. On every sea. I thought, wow. It was much bigger than anybody thought at the time. Because the Germans were taking That's over right. all the other countries around them, France, oh, sure. and Norway, and all of those places there. And that's what Hitler had in mind, and whenever he, he got done over there, he was going to come over to us and do the same thing. He then he thought he'd get there. England next. <laughs> Thank goodness he didn't succeed. Oh, yeah. I remember, you know, when you're in the, in the movie theater, though, you know, if they're showing a movie and there's an air raid, they insist that you stay. You know? Yes, yes. And they would put on something to sing to and that kind of thing. And uh, <clears throat> and then they would show, and all, there was always a newsreel. Oh, and yes. I love the news. I think mm -hmm. that's where I got my first mm -hmm. love of watching the news. Mm -hmm. And they would show the news, and I remember this one night, um, well, almost every, every time, there would always be pictures of the war. And it was always Europe and London and Germany and France. <coughs> and this one particular time they showed, <coughs> I don't know what, 
don't know if it had a title to it. I don't think it did. But it was just a whole lot of people walking. And it was mud. It was all mud. And they were just walking along the road very slowly. It was dark. And then there was some were in trucks. And I was with one of my friends. I, can't, I think it was Anne. I think it was um, the other Anne. And uh, some of them were in the back, you know, in the back of trucks, you know, leaning over their tailgate, right? And one woman was holding a tiny baby. And she looked like she was either asleep or going to fall asleep or she was ill. She just didn't look good at all. And we're just looking at that little baby and the other poor people walking behind the truck in the pouring rain, getting away from the German troops who were going after them. And, uh, and all of a sudden, uh, the baby just started to slide right off of her lap and went all the way down into the mud. Oh, and dear. Soon. And we're looking at that and we thought, oh my, my Lord. It was, and she didn't even react. It was like she didn't know she had done it. Either she was just mm -hmm. too tired or just too exhausted to even, or maybe she would care but couldn't do anything about it. And then I, and that was bad enough. On top of that, we never saw anybody pick up the baby. Because you could see all the people walking behind. They were in lines. And we never saw the baby in somebody's arms. And we kind of thought, isn't that kind of strange? Shouldn't somebody have picked up the baby? That was, that was horrendous, I'm telling you. And I don't know if you were ever there when they used to do this to the children. Yeah. When something bad came on the screen, like the, uh, oh. <laughs> you know, like the concentration camps, oh, yeah. and all the dead bodies lying all over the place, and the naked bodies, and oh, mm -hmm. it was a horrible sight, mm -hmm. the Holocaust. And if you were sitting near an adult, either in front of you, or behind you, or next to you, quite often, more often than not, if you reach a child, they would do this. And you, you know, that was it. They didn't say, I'm going to do this, they just did it. They didn't want you to see that, mm -hmm. which was nice. You know, we, we appreciated that to a point. But then, as I say, when we saw all this other stuff, I think some of us were like, I'm almost glad I saw that because it teaches you so much when you see that. Instead of reading it or seeing it in a newspaper or on TV, you actually see what that man did. And you really come to know how evil he was. Mm. He couldn't have been more wicked when you saw that horrible, horrible stuff. And it was only that once or twice that we saw it, because after that we just didn't look anymore. <laughs> well, I'll never forget those <laughs> folks, you know, huh? <laughs> you just sit there and you wait until they took their hand off. Strange, 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 strange. Do you remember how old you were when you first found out about the concentration camps? Well, when we found out, I was probably the one or twelve, somewhere around in there, I think. Oh no, the younger than that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But um, no, I'm not sure exactly. Yeah, that too young to that, but that's, that's the way it was. I think really with the youngsters, you didn't really take that kind of thing in that much. No, you, no. You knew there was a war, on, yeah. but you didn't want yeah. to go into all the details. Yeah. And yeah. I don't think we were. It's only after all that that you hear about it all that you realize exactly what had been going on. What were the movies like that you guys went and saw during the war? Mm -hmm. What were the movies like? Good. Same. Oh, oh, yeah, we used to, we used oh, to yeah. go to the movies Probably just the same. same. <laughs> you saw here. Yeah. There, yeah. there wasn't anything about the war in them or no? No, we went oh, to... I've never seen a war movie. No, no, we didn't I see any war movies. Did they ever show them on the screen? No, it was some of the very famous movies that yeah. you see now. Oh, yeah. Oh, occasionally. I Gosh, I can't remember movies. what they were. But we did go and see one once. And they always tell you on the screen when there is an air raid warning. Mm -hmm. And that, now this one would say, you may leave if you wish, but you can stay if you want to. Well, we never wanted to leave. We said, no, we want to watch the pictures, you know, oh, we're, we're not worried. <laughs> we 
just stayed and watched the film. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what they were. Mm -hmm. No, they were never good pictures. The usual. I remember once I went with a friend <clears throat> to see Anchors Away. Oh, I was, yeah. I was a Frank Sinatra geek. Mm -hmm. Well, we all were in those days, mm -hmm. the Bobby Soxers. Mm -hmm. Oh, we sat through it three times. Pop ended up coming mm -hmm. and getting me. <laughs> we just didn't want to go home. No, we were And nobody made us leave. We were more interested in the film mm -hmm. than what the war was doing. <laughs> nobody made us leave. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We were lucky it wasn't too far from home either. And then, mm -hmm. yeah, we had movies. No TV. <coughs> Radios. Record players. Mm. Mm. Pretty bombs. <laughs> what a life, huh? Mm. And how did you spend your childhood? But you learn a lot, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. You become very grateful for a lot of things you've got. <coughs> you know, forget the things you don't have and wish you had. They don't, they don't mean anything anymore, something like that. When you think of the number of people that were killed, it's just unbelievable. Mm -hmm. I think one thing I read, it was 41,000 in just four nights mm -hmm. during that bad time there. Mm. The Battle of Britain. Yeah, that's a lot of people. Mm. I mean, innocent people, basically. And the stupid people that walked under the bridge. Oh, I'll never forget that night. I was out with some of the kids. It was almost dark. And it was during an area, and we were going, going towards the, the gate where we get in, went into the, where we lived. Mm. And the wardens were all out there, and these people were we were kids, but somehow we knew that they had been drinking. They, <laughs> they were having a grand time. They really <coughs> were. They were loud and singing and kept walking towards the bridge, and the wardens are yelling at them, don't go under the bridge. And they kept right on walking. Either they didn't want to hear them or didn't care. There was a whole bunch of the guys yelling at them, and they just kept right on walking towards that bridge. And we were walking towards our building, and uh, they were yelling at them, and they weren't going to follow them smartly, you know. And they kept right on going, walked under, because, you know, bridges are targets. And this was a bridge that went right across, it was a railroad bridge, went right across the road. And uh, they walked under, and the rest is, you know what. Hmm. And we could hear them screaming, oh, mm -hmm. gosh, I'm Oh, couldn't see them anymore. There's nothing but rubble. Mm. And they were screaming and crying. And turned out they were all killed. I think it was 80 something people. I can't remember that one. Crazy. <coughs> that was oh, <laughs> horrible. That oh, was horrible. So, what Can question you? next? Um, you said that your husband was in the army. Yes, he was in the Royal Army Service Corps. I think he was 18 when he... His two <laughs> elder brothers, he was even the youngest one. His two brothers were older and they went into the army sooner than he did. And they didn't want to fight. So mm. they were, what do they call them? Again with an end. End? Yeah. Well, they wouldn't have to fight. Anyone who no. didn't, who was against fighting, but non one, something, non yeah, non something, something. <laughs> and one was oh, put into an office. That? They were still in the yeah. uniform. They were still part of the Royal Army Service Corps, um, and the other one was riding a motorbike. And that was a couple of years before my husband was called up. <coughs> but when he wanted to go, when he had to go, rather, not that he wanted to, mm -hmm. he said, "No, I'm going to fight." I'm not going to be like that. I'm not scared of the Germans and all that. But uh, So he joined the army to do whatever they wanted him to do. And he was the driver of a... I'm sorry. 
He was the driver of a big truck carrying ammunition. <laughs> and that was his job. He was the driver carrying the ammunition around to to the front, which is where the fighters were with their guns and everything. <coughs> and well he didn't mind doing that. And then in the end his brothers <coughs> decided to go with him. And his dad said, How can you do that to your young brother, you know? <laughs> so they joined with him into the same service. They were all together, the three of them. Uh, they all survived. One of them did get a bullet on his <coughs> motorbike when he was riding his motorbike. But then they got through. <coughs> And her mama lost a cousin. I forget what really? year it was. Yeah. I can't think of his name. Oh. Anyway, there were two of them. Two mm -hmm. cousins. And they were supposed to come to England to visit her. Mm -hmm. told, you know, contacted her and said they're going to come over <coughs> and visit us, you know, before they go to Germany. Well, as it turned out, they were sent directly to Germany. And they were both killed. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. So we're just never know this thing. Yeah. Mm. I don't know why they mm. make them go directly there. Maybe mm. they have to. I don't know. I don't have a choice. Mm. Well, that was kind of sad. She felt very bad yeah. about that. She hadn't my, seen husband, them my husband had some awful tales to tell. He wouldn't always tell everything, but he yeah. said he'd, he'd <coughs> seen some really terrible things. Mm -hmm. You don't want to talk about but, it. No. We're just going to change the tape real quick because it's oh, running okay. out. Mm -hmm. um, so do you remember any stories that your husband had told you about his, his um, experience during the war? Well, one is not a great experience, but when he was under this, when he was driving this truck, the enemy started to go over them and they were right out in the wilds about to get to the front to take the ammunition down and they just got out of the truck and said, where should we go? They said, let's get under the truck. <laughs> Good idea. And he said, well, that was a crazy thing to do in a way, but where else could we go? We had to get under something, so we got under the truck and after all, if the bombs had all gone onto the truck, boom, that would have been the end of them. But so we got all right. Um, well, he did have some horrible things, but he wouldn't tell me everything. Another day he said, oh, there was a horrible thing happened that day. I got out of my truck and trod on a dead horse. <laughs> but no, he did see some awful things. But he said, no, I'm not going to tell you about that. They do. That's <coughs> awful part of war. They have to see that. But they didn't want to talk about it. No, I couldn't tell you all that. He was never wounded? No, no. None of us, he and his brothers, all came back very safely. John was filled with chocolate. Yeah, did what they had to do. Yeah. Um, did he know anybody who suffered from battle fatigue? No, I don't think he did. Mm. Well, I knew someone at the church that I was going to who had to be discharged because he was so ill. Mm. And he was just shaking all the time. I forget what they call that now. Shell shock? It was, it was shell shock. <coughs> That's it. Mm. Shell shock. And it was mm. terrible to see him. Mm. Terrible. He just couldn't do anything anymore for anyone. And that was the only one I did know. Yeah. Terrible. That's what the boys in Iraq are going through now. Mm -hmm. dear, 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 I wish they get out of there. Yeah. What did they do with him when, he di when they just discharged him? When really well, they just go home and they didn't have the doctors like they do these days. And there wasn't much they could do about them. No, not much medication that he could have. They just had to live with it. That's all he could do. He could walk all right. But not all the time, because he was very shaky, he couldn't talk properly. So his <coughs> life wasn't really worth living, but he, he carried on for quite some time. It's awful to see anybody like that.
I never wanted to have anything to do with any one of the services. I've always said when I was a young teenager, I'm not going to have a boyfriend who's in the services. No way, no way. He's only die, only get killed. <laughs> Famous last words. And then I, <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> yeah, get fond of a soldier. <laughs> When he wanted to take me out, I said, well, don't wear your uniform. Don't wear your uniform. <laughs> <laughs> but you get used to it after a while. It feels very nice. So I thought, gosh, here I am with a soldier. Gosh, will I ever see him again? <laughs> then you he when Uncle Jay came to visit us? Are you there? Where? In my in England, in, at the house. Did he? Yeah. Yeah, I can't remember what year. <laughs> I can't remember that. I can't remember what year it was. Mm. Yeah, I remember sitting on his lap and playing mm -hmm. with his... He had his uniform on, but he had all these crazy little... Uh, mm. Not buttons or buttonholes or something like that. Yeah. No, I don't remember that. Yeah. Mm. He made it, thank goodness. Mm -hmm. Then he went back. Mm. He was shot down and won the Purple Heart. Oh, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who was that? He was my favorite. Hmm? Who was yeah, that? Yeah. A brother of our mother. One of the brothers. Oh, okay. He was in the Air Force. Uh, he was a navigator and a gunner. Mm -hmm. Awful nice man. She always told me I looked just like him. Oh, that was all I needed. <laughs> <laughs> that was all I needed. Mm -hmm. Whoa. But uh, awful nice man. Mm -hmm. He lives in California. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Was your husband in the service until the end of the war? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. yes, he did his service and he said they did have some good times, but mm -hmm. most of it was, well, as war is, <laughs> do what you have to do, do your duties, you want to try and win. <laughs> Thankfully, we did win. Um, did you notice a lot of soldiers coming back with more injuries? We had two from our church who were killed. Mm -hmm. I don't think there were any who was... Oh, yes, there was one. Do you remember John Timms? Oh, Next door but one to us. He was in the Air Force. He job. was a pilot. <coughs> pilot. And he did get injured, yes. One of his legs. Very sweet. sweet. But he carried on okay. Mm -hmm. Carried on. Yeah. Taught me how to play marbles. Yeah. Tennis. Not that I was good at it. Mm. Soccer. No, I didn't know any others. Not not like that. As I say, two of <coughs> them were killed. Two of them. One in, he was one of the, and they come down out of a, oh, I don't know. When they come down in parachute. Oh, parachute. Mm. Paratrooper. He was killed in. A paratrooper? No, that's not the word. But they're in the Air Force, and then they come down in a parachute and. Paratrooper? Yeah. Oh, so, and he was only 19 and he was killed in, I think he was honored. A lot were killed at that time. There's a huge field there with graves, all of the English. Yes, he was a nice fellow too. But that's the war, isn't it? Final months of the war, how did, did um, the British actually become more optimistic? Optimistic? Did you say? Yeah. <coughs> I don't know about optimistic. We were very, everyone was very thankful that it would come to an end. Mm. Uh, <coughs> 
can't remember. <clears throat> Do you remember your feelings after um, Paris was liberated? Oh yes, that was a lovely feeling. Mm -hmm. Oh yes indeed, because I had a terrible time. Really terrible. Yes. They did a lot for their country, they did their best. But, mm -hmm. yeah. We were lucky we lived where we lived, mm -hmm. in spite of it. <coughs> yes, I think <coughs> Europe <coughs> suffered <coughs> more than we did. Prisoners to the embassy. Mm -hmm. What was that? Did you ever see any German prisoners? Yeah. Did I ever oh, see yeah. any German prisoners? No, you didn't. We, remember I used to go with all the kids, we'd go... It was about right on the edge of the forest, Epping Forest. Yeah. Yeah, there was a prison of war camp there. And it was only about like a five minute... Oh, I know there were camps, but I'd never five seen Five minute them. walk. And we would go and visit... Uh, mm -hmm. At first, all we did was talk through the, you know, the wire gate and uh, have a good time. We'd talk, we'd bring them cookies and cakes and candy and stuff like that. Whatever we had available that wasn't rationed. <laughs> oh, rationing. Just oh, about everything goodness. is rationed. <coughs> but, uh, and we talk and have nice mm -hmm. talks together. And we're looking at them, you know, and my, as I say, us, we were like, you know, ages range from 11, 12, 13, you know, and. Uh, <coughs> This our our gang, our shrapnel gang, <laughs> and uh, and we would talk and uh, and we were looking at them and then we were thinking oh they're you know they're a little bit older than us and some of them were some of them they were boys, 15 16 years old, prisoners, and they were part of Hitler's youth corps. You heard of that I'm sure, mm -hmm. and it got. We had run into very, very sad visits. Um, you know, we talk, and uh, they spoke perfect English, and <laughs> almost as perfect as mm -hmm. you. <laughs> perfect English, and I think mm -hmm. he taught us some German. We didn't do so good. <coughs> they taught us some German, and we would just talk back and forth. And then it got to the point where they would let us onto the lawn. It was a huge lawn. It was beautiful. We wouldn't even think it was a prison. And we would sit around and just talk, and then there were so many times when there were so many tears. Mm. They would cry, we would cry, and I'm not sure we really knew why, but for them it was so sad. And people would say to us, what do you go and visit them for? They're our enemy. And we would say, no, they're not, not anymore. They're no different than we are. We're all involved in the same war. And... Uh, and we had some wonderful business with them. But it was very sad because a lot of them had been away from home for, oh, maybe five or six years. Mm -hmm. They were kids. Mm -hmm. They go to the homes, grab the kids, and leave. No questions asked. They just take whoever they want, and they're gone. And they hadn't been home in so long. Parents, parents never knew where they were taking them. They didn't know where they were going or why only that it was the youth corps. And it was, you know, it was so sad, but we, we had some good times. But I'm so glad I got to know those kids. It was, it was a blessing to meet people like that and to find out what they had been through. And I, again, realized how lucky I really was. I was home, you know. I was just a few, few steps from home. So I, I realized, you see things like that and you're, you're like, yeah, what am I complaining about? Don't you <coughs> dare complain about anything. But it, it was, uh, they, they were good kids. They were awful good kids. What kind of things did you talk to them about? I don't know, kid stuff. They wanted to know what we did. Did we go to school and where did we live and all? What did we do when we weren't in school and all that kind of thing. I think the usual kind of talk mm -hmm. that you might get from a child that age. Because none of them were, were any older than that. And uh, just and the war, they talked about the war, they talked about home, which kind of surprised me, but they did. But then that's what they missed more than anything was home. They hadn't been there in so long. I mean, you're going to think about that when you're not there for so many, all those years. I mean, I was never away from home for that long, you know. I don't know how I, how I cope with that.
But we talked about everything, the weather, the forest, and of course they couldn't leave the grounds. So, you know, when we went there, we, we stayed there. And uh, we had some good times together. It was, a, it was a good experience. And for a while, there's, I remember once we were standing there talking, and somebody came up and said, don't talk to them anymore. And the word was fraternization. Oh, yeah. I never heard that word until oh, then. And we're looking yeah. at each other. What's that mean? Mm -hmm. What's that? What's that mean? Fraternization. It means don't talk, basically. And, uh, and we said, well, we're, we're having good times together. We just talk about everything. They're lonely boys, and they're away from home and all that. And they never did come back and tell us to stop again, so we just kept right on doing it. And Got yelled at when we walked down the street doing the goose step. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but people don't like to see that. It's kind of scary. That's what the soldiers used to, you know, they kick their legs up <laughs> when they walked the German troops. And that's what we were doing. And we would do this, because this was like, <laughs> this, is, this is the mustache, and this is the Heil Hitler. And we would just walk down the street. I mean, we were in a war zone. <laughs> what are we supposed to do? You know, we didn't have computers and television and all that stuff. We just did what was around us. You know, that's, we didn't think any differently. We didn't hurt anybody. And, but that, it only happened that one time. Don't do that anymore. And some people would look at us and just sit there and laugh and they'd wave. And, and apparently there was some who must have complained to somebody. And uh, <laughs> don't do that. Oh, and what are we supposed to do? Ballet or what? I don't know. There were some crazy times. As I say, we did laugh a lot. Oh, yeah. You, didn't, you have to laugh, and there were times when yeah. you couldn't help but laugh, especially when you go to a public air, air raid shelter mm -hmm. and get up in the middle of the night and you've got to go to the bathroom, you step on somebody's face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy, that wasn't fun. Mm -hmm. Funny, but not fun. <laughs> didn't like those places too. We didn't have to go there too often, though, thank goodness. But they, they were good shelters. There was nothing wrong with them. <laughs> oh, dear, dear. I remember being in somebody's home who had one of those, I think they called it an Anderson bed. It was like, mm -hmm. came Anderson up shelter. off the floor, an Anderson shelter, and that's where yeah. you crawled under. Yeah. I remember doing that one night, and I stepped on somebody, and I can't remember who it was. Mm -hmm. um, but you couldn't see, it was dark. You know, you just couldn't see where you were going. Where well, your, we didn't have where lights. Where your feet were anywhere. going. No, we weren't allowed out. to have lights. No. Oh, 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 no. Blackout. Black shades no under the nose. No lights anywhere. You couldn't no, like, If they saw a light, they'd come and <coughs> knock on your door. They didn't even want people to smoke. Yeah. <coughs> no. No. <coughs> because the planes could see the lights, and that would be a target. Sure. And everyone had to have black curtains. No, they were horrible. They were down. down. So you not they lights didn't show horrible. anywhere. Yeah. There were no lights anywhere. No. Wherever you went out of it, just pitch black. That was no fun. Necessary, I'm sure. But no fun. <laughs> what was the rationing like during the war? We got used to yeah, it after a while. It, it wasn't yeah. when you look back and think yeah. what we had. Yeah. Two we, ounces of this, four ounces of that. <laughs> We never we went hungry, back. but no, it was no, we just didn't. Luckily, our yeah. father worked for a yeah. company where they yeah. sold food, so he often yeah. used to bring right. something home. And we're only allowed just so much each yeah. week, and once, once that was coupon was gone to get what you wanted, you don't get any more for a week. Anyone know? with young children would get more. Yeah, yeah. But otherwise, yeah. it was say two ounces of butter a week, uh, oh, a yeah. pound of meat a week, and yeah. things like that. But a lot of people would say we're healthier <coughs> now than we were before. <laughs> <laughs> and the rationing even went oh, on for about nearly two years after the war. Oh, yeah. I remember Mama used to save, <coughs> because she always made Christmas puddings oh, and yes. Christmas cakes yes. and stuff yes. like that. Yes. And she was quite, she was a great cook. Mm. And she would have to save a little bit of this mm. and a little bit of that mm. and put it away mm. until Christmas time. So and we, we didn't get Christmas much, puddings. We didn't get much fruit in those days because no. England didn't. Oh. Yes, we used to, used to grow apples and plums no. and cherries, but we would never get bananas. 
No, because they always came from eggs. They were hard to come by, weren't they? Oh, yes, eggs. Eggs, you couldn't have an egg unless you had a child five or under. But with Luckily bananas, we did. With bananas, with bananas, bananas they would, you know, uh, whenever we had parties yeah. at the church and with children, we'd make them some sandwiches. And yeah. we'd say, now these are bana banana sandwiches. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they weren't. <laughs> <laughs> they were, what's that long? Like a long carrot, but it's yellow. Oh, um, squash. Oh, squash. No, no, not squash. Huh? Zucchini. Oh, zucchini. No, no, no. no. <coughs> no. It's a, it's a vegetable. I like it. It's yellowy. Yellowy. Oh, I can't no. remember the name of it. Oh, head on this way. Oh, I know. I, 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 yeah. Well, that's what we used to get like it and it. cook it and mash it, yeah. and we'd give it banana flavour. You know, oh. have a little bottle. Oh, and it was sneaky, the colour of banana, sneaky. and it tasted like banana sandwiches. And the little children never knew the difference. Never knew the difference. Never. Oh, I can't think ah. of the thing. Ah. It's like a long carrot, but it's yellow. Oh. That's squatly. <laughs> Not pumpkin, that's orange. No, 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 it's like a long carrot. Oh, okay. It's longer than the carrot. Yeah. Yeah. Parsnip. Parsnip. Oh, you yeah. like those. It was a parsnip. <coughs> oh, turnips. You like turnips. turnips? No, no, it's a parsnip. You don't have parsnips here? Yeah. 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 Well, when that's cooked and squashed up and flavoured with a little bottle of banana tasting, <laughs> like you get vanilla, which isn't really vanilla and all that. Know. And the children never knew the difference. Oh, <laughs> banana sandwiches. Beautiful. <laughs> and that's what it was. <laughs> oh, dear. You could get rationing for certain reasons, extra yeah, rationing for yeah, certain yeah, reasons. Yeah. But otherwise, <coughs> we managed, we lived. I remember sticking my chewing gum on the bedpost. <laughs> I knew I yeah. wouldn't get any more for a whole week. Mm. Put it back in your mouth next morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I don't think I'd do that. Yeah, we managed. <laughs> yeah. Did your mother work during the war, or did she also say? Her mother did, yes. She, yes. Yeah. she did work for a while, yes, in an office. Yeah. yeah. What did she do? Oh, I don't know what she did. She was an x-ray technician for a while, do you remember? I forget the name of the hospital. Oh, not in England. She Wasn't didn't, it in London? No. She worked in hospital? No, that was over <coughs> here. <coughs> no, she was doing office work. She was good. Mm. I don't know exactly yeah. what it was, but it was office work. Um, did you notice a lot of neighbors and stuff going to work for, like, the wartime economy to produce new machines and everything? New machines? Mm -hmm. And materials for the war? Oh, for the war. Yeah. I can remember someone who oh, used yeah. to work where they made parachutes out of this silky kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I remember that, but I don't know any great details about it, really. Mm -hmm. That was all. But a lot of women like when men were called up, mm. women could be called up, but they didn't, not quite as much as they would call men. But they would always want you to do something for the services. Mm. So they would do all kinds of things in factories where there weren't so many men there because they'd gone off in the army, navy or air force. And women would do a lot of machine work that men used to do. They worked very hard, I think, with the... Yes, they did indeed. It was tough work, yeah. It was tough work. And then come home to a family and a home and mm. all mm. Yes, a lot of women had to do that. That wasn't fun, I'm sure. <coughs> a little old enough, thank goodness. Mm. I don't think I'd like that. Um, what kind of support did you see for the troops, like, on the home front? What kind of support? Yeah, did you see any? What kind, what do you mean, what kind of support do you mean? Like, was everybody in favor of the war? Did oh. they, when the troops would come home, did they all get a lot of support? Oh, yes, indeed, yes. Good gracious, everyone thought the world of all the, the servicemen, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yes, risking their lives and what they'd had to go through. Well, you've seen it on some of the films, I'm sure, where they're in these you know, down in the earth and in all the mud and, oh, yes, my husband went through all that as well. 
Yes. All through the mud and everything. Out in the open, sometimes when it was winter time as well, <coughs> only cold water to wash in and things like that. Yes, it was it was a tough time, but well they all did their best, I'm sure. Um, do you remember what you were doing when the war ended in Europe? What were they doing, were we? Well, uh, we, oh, we were in uh, Himes Park when yes, the war right. ended, yes. 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 I remember build, oh. building big bonfires. We had the day off. <laughs> we were yeah. all given the day off. And, uh, Huge oh, fire. It was great fun. Great. Yeah. I should say so. Big it was marvelous to know that we didn't need the blackout anymore and <laughs> could go out in safety. And Yes, it was a wonderful feeling. Hard yeah. to believe. V.E. did very well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then, of course, it was still going on over here, wasn't it? Pacific with, with the Japanese. Pacific, Pacific, oh, yeah. With the Japs. Yeah. That was still going on. Mm -hmm. uh, that was good when that finished, too. I remember the time when, when Mom, when we first heard about Pearl Harbor. Mm -hmm. You know, it was, of course, no TV, but it was in the newspapers, and she sat, she looked at it, and she started crying. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know what she was looking at mm -hmm. right away. Mm -hmm. It was the Sunday paper, I don't remember. And then she told me, and she showed me what she was looking at, and I thought, uh -huh. it was just a Pearl Harbor, you know, mm -hmm. oh my, oh, she was really, mm -hmm. she was so hurt. Well, I can understand that. And of course, <laughs> you know, Uncle Jay was out that way anyway, mm -hmm. so that didn't help any. But she was so hurt by that. Mm -hmm. Oh, she was so hurt. And when FDR died, oh my goodness, it was on the front page of Canadian mm -hmm. too. She cried and cried and cried. Mm -hmm. I mean, she was so far for, away from me all, you know, I think that had something to do with mm -hmm. it. But, oh, she had an awful time. Um, was your family in life? at all disrupted during the war, or by the war? Oh, yes, definitely, especially when you had to be separated. Yes, it was very sad, yeah. As I say, when you see your parents going away and having to leave you, and <laughs> you wanted to be with them. Yes, it was nice to be safe somewhere, but you still didn't like to be parted. Yes, it uh, made a big difference to our lives altogether. Really did. What was your family life like when the war ended? When the war ended, well, very happy, of course. It was hard to believe. Yeah. And then getting back to normality, yes, it was wonderful to be safe again. No more fear of bombs and oh, yeah. airplanes and crashes and <laughs> killing. I always prayed there would never be another war. <laughs> of course there was, <laughs> that still is. Mm. Well, the World War One was supposed to be the war to end all wars. Oh, so right? they said it would, yes. <laughs> well, I remember to the kids in yeah. class once at the time. Yeah. You know, I didn't live through World War One, mm -hmm. but, um, <clears throat> you know, it was the war to end no more wars, you know, and I thought, mm -hmm. well, I, since then I've lived through four. <laughs> Mm. What happened to the war to end all wars? Well, our father was in World War One. Oh yeah, right, right. He right. joined up when he was right. sixteen. He shouldn't right. have done because he lied about his age. I'm surprised they kept it. Yes, it was wonderful when it ended. It's difficult to explain how you felt, but yeah, it was wonderful. Do you think that living through the war gave you a better ability to judge wars today? I don't know, really. Mm. Or do you think you'd still feel the same no matter if you lived through it or not? Oh, we certainly wouldn't want another war, because each war gets worse than the one before. Mm. Look how it would be now if there was another war. Mm. Look at the nuclear mm. bombs. Yeah, sure. Wow. And nobody ever really wins a war. I mean, there's Everybody oh. loses so much and so many, you know, people. 
Um, I can never really accept it as being a winner. You know? Well, you do you win. Yes, and you win, but yes. it's like, at what cost? And Think how it would be oh. if Hitler had won. Oof. Oh, my goodness. We'd all be speaking All German. the millions that he killed. We'd be gassing them in German. At least we wouldn't get yelled at for doing the goose step. <laughs> oh, the war was won, thank, thank the Lord. Mm. Definitely. Mm. We always hope there would never be another one. Mm. But, as I say, who knows? What fools we What did you do when it ended? Mm -hmm. What did you do when the war ended? What did, did, you, did you did you danced around did the bonfire you? for a while? <laughs> it was hot. <laughs> Just go back to a normal way of living. And yeah. yeah. Then Lynn and yeah. I were engaged and we planned to marry. Yeah. And that was how we were thinking. <laughs> oh, we can get married now. <laughs> so we married in forty seven, the year the war ended in forty five. That's the year I came here. And we married in 47, yes. Or we came here. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Golly. Long years ago. Yes, yes, it was a long time ago. Mm. Mm. Um, do you remember how you felt after you heard about the A bomb from Japan? Oof. I didn't like that. I really wish they hadn't done that, but oh, was it, it was really frightening. necessary? It was frightening. To kill so many thousands of innocent people. I mean, yes. yeah, geez, so they were Japanese. Yes. So, a lot worse than that out there. Difficult to say exactly how you oh. feel about anything like that. It's, mm -hmm. it's so just, terrible. It seemed like a little too much for her. Terrible. For what they wanted. And it could still happen. Sure. It could still happen. Do you yeah. think that, um, that witnessing a lot of civilian deaths in um, the Blitz of London changed your views about killing so many civilians in Japan? <sighs> I suppose so, yes. Yeah. Yes, I yeah. couldn't give any great detail about it, yeah. but... Yeah. It just didn't yeah. seem right to, but that magnitude it was just... Really necessary. Makes you think how on earth can people do things that to other human beings? And then they did it again. Yeah. They're just wicked, just wicked much. people who oh. have no thought. Oh. I mean, they did it on two different mm. cities. It just, oh. mm. I felt bad about that. I mean, I was very young, but I felt bad about that. Mm. At least they waited till the day after my birthday. <laughs> First, they were talking about. Doing it on this, and I thought, oh, please don't do it on that day. Mm. I just, uh, that was sad. God. Do you remember your parents' feelings toward that? No, I don't tell the truth. I don't think we ever talked about it. No, we I didn't really. really. Did. He never wanted to talk. Well, mm -hmm. neither of them wanted to talk about the war. I don't think we ever even brought that up. <clears throat> we knew what had happened, what was going to happen, and then we knew what had happened. Mm -hmm. just, uh, <coughs> I just didn't. No, we just wanted to forget it all, quite mm. honestly. Wanted to forget it. Mm. Throw mm. away our... What we used to put on our noses. <laughs> we never did have the gas, did we? The gas masks. Although we had the oh. gas masks, no, yeah. nothing ever no, happened. No, nothing ever, no, there was never any gassing. That's one no. thing they never did, which is a wonder. But prepared, I guess. They were very pretty. It was good yes, to throw all those things away. We didn't want to keep them. And yeah, we had to turn them in, didn't we? Yes, they did have we to be turned in. We were allowed to keep in. them. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. What they need them for? <laughs> they were so pretty. <laughs> well, the children's <laughs> ones were. <laughs> they were. They were very nice looking. Pretty mm -hmm. color. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to wear them all the time. But mm -hmm. No, we never had to wear them. I don't know why we had to turn them in. I no. think they probably melted them down for something else, for the war effort. Mm -hmm. Remember when they took down all the fences? 
Oh, the yeah. iron fences that we oh, had. Oh, yes. So all the iron was taken away they to had be melted up. Melted to down else. for the war effort. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And the parachutes we used to throw in the sky, my mm. friends and I. Mm. Little men on them, and they come floating down. Mm. And the parachutes they had were the pure silk. Mm. They, weren't, they weren't very big. Mm. Oh, they were fun to watch. And, mm. and then they went and stopped making them mm. because they needed the silk for the real parachutes. That's right. Gee <laughs> whiz. Mm. Poor kids. Mm. We were so deprived. Mm. Well, they were fun. Mm. <laughs> mm. Oh, golly. Ain't life grand, huh? Mm. <laughs> dear, dear, dear. Anything else? Mm. Mm. Do you have any closing remarks? Before mm. Do you have any closing remarks about the war? Oh, any closing Goodness. remarks about the war? Only that we were very, very happy and relieved. Oh, uh, sure. Just hope really. there would never be another one. Uh, I don't know. Difficult to explain exactly how you feel. I can only remember wanting to jump for joy. Oh, sure. Like you said, we didn't oh, throw it, it away, time. but get rid of all the, uh, the shelters and those kind of things and get back to normal living. Go out at night and not worry about anything. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. Yes. It takes a while to get back to normality after all that. Five years. Mm -hmm. I was like, where do we go from here, kind of mm -hmm. thing, you know? Yeah. What do we do first? Of course, with me, it was just <laughs> looking forward to my wedding, so. There you go. Mm -hmm. you so you stayed right in London? Huh? So you stayed right in London right after the London? Uh, right uh, well, I did, yes. Um, my family wanted to come over here, but I wouldn't leave my, my fiancé. Mm -hmm. I said, no, I'm not going to leave him because his mother's an invalid, so he didn't want to leave his mother. So I just didn't want to leave him, so I stayed there. We were all there for the wedding, I'm glad to say. Nice picture of you in the bridesmaid's dress. <laughs> <laughs> and it was sad to see the rest of my family leave, but there we are. I remember you asked me to sing. Oh, and yes. I said, okay, yes. what do you want me to sing? Rescue the Perishing? <laughs> That's a hymn, right? Rescue the, the perishing, perishing care for the dying. Yes. Wedding song. Huh? Mm. Not, not, not. What did I sing? Oh, I can't remember, quite honestly. <laughs> I don't remember. I can't remember. Oh, it was a happy wedding, though. But <laughs> oh, it was a lovely wedding. Yeah, when I, I cried when my parents were leaving, and <laughs> there we are. Yeah. <laughs> Good old days. So you and Lala came over, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. And she was only six. Little Lala. Little Lala, yeah. Little Lala. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. So that was it. I wish she'd have come with you over here. Mm -hmm. She should have come with you over here. She wanted to at one time, but... I know they enjoyed it when they were here. Yes, Brian, they did. Really. Yeah, they did. He wanted to come again, but didn't happen. He didn't want to leave. No, he didn't want to leave either, no. Mm. He really had a good time there. Mm. No, he wanted He said, I, I could work here. I could, I could drive a lorry. Mm. Mm. A truck, truck, a lorry. Mm. Yeah, he said, I could drive a truck, a lorry over here. <laughs> mm. Lala didn't want to, though. I don't know she why. wasn't too keen on mm. yeah. She had a good time here, but mm. she, he was the one that really wanted to come again. <coughs> Maybe someday. Perhaps because of her daughter. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Maybe someday. Oh, anything else? I don't think so. No. There's nothing else. Has it been any use to you, do you think? What we've told you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> good I'm sure there's not everything that we can remember. But, uh, 
didn't always take everything in, really, at the time. Being young, you know. Oh. <laughs> didn't write it down. Mm. Stays with you, though, doesn't it? Huh? Oh, yes. Yes, there's things that you uh, never forget. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, that is okay. Just hope I'm not alive when the next world war oh. starts. Yeah. You hope you are? I uh, hope I'm not. No, I wouldn't want to be alive. Oh, I wish the one we're in now would end. Goodness knows how it would be. Let's uh, hope it doesn't ever happen. Uh, I hope not. I hope not. Dear, 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 dear. Because it would be worse than ever. That's I'm afraid I'll just get worse and worse. Than Look at Iraq. Yeah. Doing nuclear again? Why? That's so bad. Why? Mm. We're still losing men over there. Every day. Well, like they say, if they leave them to it, then maybe things could get worse. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I don't know. Uh, they're, they're killing their own people. Yes. <laughs> By the hundreds. I know. They don't care. You know, it doesn't make any difference. Uh, and then that's up to the. Oh. You opened Iran and it's up to them, really. Glad I'm not there. I try not to listen to it all. Yeah. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. <laughs> Bad enough of it all. <laughs> Wars and things. Glad it's not here. We are lucky. Even Australia's getting bad times now. Yes. Oh, saw that in the paper the other day. Oof. Bad, 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 bad. Mm. That's surprising, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So let's hope there's never another war. <laughs> yeah. It's a good lot to end up. <laughs> mm -hmm.